what is up Midway Mayhem fans? This is Dan and we are checking in from a brand new park today, Joypolis, which is here in Tokyo. It's got an indoor spinning roller coaster with an inversion and more. We're gonna check it out. All right, so we're here at Joypolis and this is inside right now. There is a roller coaster right there. It's a spinning one and guess what? It's got an inversion, yeah. Alright, so before boarding the coaster, they do have lockers here so you can put your bags and everything else in there because it does go upside down, but at least they're available. Apparently it's interactive, so throughout several uh, elements, you're supposed to press the button. Just like that. Alrighty guys, so we just got off the indoor spinning roller coaster and it's a credit. That's all I can really say. It was uh, very interesting with the interactive portion. It's actually a game, it's like Guitar Hero. So you press buttons and you try to match where it goes along with the uh, different areas. Uh, the coaster itself is pretty short. Uh, it does have a, an inversion, so you launch, you launch, do a turn, and then you come out right here, and then you do the inversion. Uh, the inversion was good, good hang time on that, but the rest of the layout was pretty short. Um, scale of one to 10 on that one, I'm gonna give it maybe a seven and a half. It's a credit. Uh, it was a neat, neat coaster, but it's one of those I'm one and done. So to talk about admission, if you buy just an outright pass, it's about $43 US. Uh, if you want to just come into the area, it's $5 if you have a passport. So show your passport, you get a $3 discount essentially, a 300 yen discount, uh, and then you can pay per attraction. Well, that's what we did. So it was 900 yen, $9 roughly, and uh, we did that. So the coaster's done, and uh, yeah.
That's Tokyo right there. Rainbow Bridge, and we are across. 